The UWA Handbook contains all the information you need about your course, majors and units, including detailed descriptions, rules, availability, prerequisites and other requirements. You'll also find example study plans that will help you plan your enrolment. In this video, we'll give you an overview of the UWA Handbook and show you how to draft a first year study plan for your undergraduate bachelor's course. Once you've got your study plan, you'll be ready to enrol on Student Connect. We recommend that you watch our other videos on the undergraduate course structure and broadening units to give you a full understanding of your course before you choose your units and enrol. You'll find a link to the UWA Handbook on the current student's webpage, student.uwa.edu.au. It's a good idea to save the current student's page as a favourite. The resources you'll use throughout your studies can all be found here. Click on the Resources tab. Then, under the Study Resources heading, select Handbooks. This link will take you to the Handbook website, handbooks.uwa.edu.au. Go to the menu on the right and select Undergraduate. Scroll down and you'll see a series of tabs for different types of undergraduate courses. On the first tab, you'll find Undergraduate Bachelor's Degrees. Select your course from the list. You'll be selecting a Bachelor of Arts, Commerce, Science, Biomedical Science, or Bachelor of Philosophy Honours. Let's have a look at the Bachelor of Commerce as an example. When you select your course, you will be able to explore your degree-specific majors and other important information, including the undergraduate degree course rules, undergraduate degree course structure, broadening requirements, elective choices, example study plans, and student procedures. Use the information available in these links to make sure that you're familiar with the rules, structure, and key components of your course before you choose your units. You can come back to this page at any time and look through the information at your own pace. Let's start with majors. Degree-specific majors are taught within your degree area. Remember, you must complete the requirements of at least one degree-specific major. In this example, we're looking at the Bachelor of Commerce, which offers eight degree-specific majors, from accounting to professional economics. You can also choose a second major from any degree area, including arts, commerce, science, or biomedical science. Click on each degree to view the majors that are available in that degree area. For example, you can take a second major in Communication and Media Studies, offered in the Bachelor of Arts. There are no right or wrong major combinations. You need to consider what's right for you. Think about what you're good at, your interests, career opportunities, and explore new areas that you never knew existed. It's okay if you don't know what you want to major in right now. You normally don't have to select a major until your second year of study, and you can change your mind later on. The flexible structure of an undergraduate bachelor's course allows you to try a number of different subjects to see what interests you before you select your majors. Let's look at an example of a major. Marketing is a degree-specific major from the Bachelor of Commerce. On the Major Details page, you can see a description of the major, You'll also see two tabs showing the requirements if you take the major as a degree specific or as a second major. We're taking marketing as a degree specific major in the Bachelor of Commerce. As you scroll down, you'll see an overview of units that you need to take in your major. Majors are made up of units from three levels. These levels represent the increasing depth and complexity of your understanding as you progress through your major. A degree-specific major in marketing requires two Level 1 units, two Level 2 units, four Level 3 units, and four Level 1 complementary units. Click Expand All to see the full list of units for your major. These are the units you'll study over the duration of your course. Normally, you start with Level 1 units in your first year and move on to Level 2 and 3 units as you meet the prerequisites. The handbook will tell you whether there are compulsory core units that you must take in your major or whether you can choose from a list of options. For a degree-specific major in marketing, you must take two core units at level one along with your four complementary units. 
Complementary units are normally not required if you take a major as a second major. At level 2, you must take one core unit, but you can choose your other unit from a list of options. Similarly, at level 3, there is one core unit required, but your remaining three units can be chosen from the list of options. Click on a unit to see more information. For example, MKTG1203, Introduction to Marketing. The Unit Details page contains important information, including a detailed description of the unit content, learning outcomes, and assessment details. You'll also find the contact hours, unit coordinator, and a link to the unit outline and timetable. The handbook will also tell you which course requirements the unit will meet. It's important to take note of the unit code. The unit code is how you will identify a unit and is made up of four letters and four numbers. The letters indicate the subject area, for example, MKTG is short for marketing. The numbers indicate what level the unit is. For example, MKTG1203 starts with a 1, indicating that it is a level 1 unit. MKTG2301 starts with a 2, indicating that it is a level 2 unit. The remaining numbers make up the unique code. You will also see the unit rules at the bottom of the page. To study some units, you must meet certain rules. For example, you will often need to pass another unit first, and this is called a prerequisite. Here you can see, to study Marketing 2301 Small Business Management, you would have to study the unit Marketing 1203 Introduction to Marketing first. If you're not sure if you meet the unit rules, check with your allocated course advice office displayed on Student Connect. So, what does all this mean? What does a study plan look like? If you scroll to the bottom of the page of the major you're interested in, you will see a sample study plan, and this gives you an idea of what your enrolment would look like for a given major throughout your whole degree. You can view an example for a single major. You'll notice if you take a single major, you have lots of room for electives. You can also view an example for two majors. When you add a second major, there is less room for electives. Now it's your turn. Download a blank study plan from the handbook. Click Undergraduate Courses and then Example Study Plans. You can print a blank plan by clicking PDF. When you enrol, you will add units to your first year only. Remember, a standard full-time study load is four units per semester, or eight units per year. Your blank first year study plan should look like this. Start with your student number, name and degree. Then add the year and semesters. If you know your majors, add them next. Now it's time to add your units. Start with level one units from your chosen majors. Go back to the handbook, look at the major or majors you're interested in and the units required. Don't forget that you can pick a second major too, so have this up in a separate tab. In this example for the Bachelor of Commerce, we've added the two level one core units required for a single major in marketing. We've also included the four complementary units required if we take marketing as our degree specific major. Remember, if you're not sure about your majors yet, that's fine. Start by choosing level one units from areas that you're interested in. Next, you can add broadening units and electives if you have space. We recommend that you take at least one or two broadening units in your first year. Check out our video on broadening units for more details on these requirements. Remember, a unit can meet more than one of the requirements of your degree. You might find that you can count one or more of your major units as broadening units as well, as long as they meet the rules. For example, in this study plan, the unit STAT1520 is a complementary unit for a degree-specific major in marketing, but it can also count as a Category A broadening unit. Use the handy checklist at the bottom of your study plan to make sure that you're on track to meet the requirements of your course. Once you're happy with your study plan, you're ready to enrol. If you have any questions or need advice on your study plan, contact your allocated course advice office displayed on Student Connect. You can also ask us a question by sending an email via Ask UWA. 
Just log on with your UWA FEMI password. So what's next? Watch our other videos on your undergraduate course structure, broadening units, and how to enrol on Student Connect. Use the UniStart website for your step-by-step -step guide through the enrolment and orientation process.